Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the Help You Need, with another VFX video tutorial. And in this video, we me go ahead and create this here. Um, not the whole scene, but we're going to go ahead and create a candle. Um, we're going to create the base, the stick, and then we're going to also do the flame. So, uh, let me go ahead and get more of the, uh, just the flame here, so I'm going to burn the candle. So that way you guys can see everything. Um, and basically this is what we're going to do, we're going to create all this, we're going to create the materials for it all, well, maybe not for it all, we're going to create the candlestick, you can play around with the materials for the uh, base of it, but it's a little too green, so I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit more yellow, it's a little better. Um, so, I guess we can go ahead and get started here, uh, yeah, because it should only take a couple of minutes, like five or six here, maybe ten all together modeling. Uh, so let's go ahead and reset this. Uh, we reset it to show it with nothing but from our previous scene. And now we're going to start by having a cylinder and then we're going to pull down all the height segments. Um, now we're going to go ahead and convert it to an editor with poly so we can go ahead and model up the base here. It's really not all that hard. It's quite easy. Uh, by the way, I've actually pre-recorded this. I actually forgot to put sound in it, so this is afterward. So I don't actually, uh, I'm not on time with everything, but that's why. Okay, so let's go ahead and create, uh, click the face icon and, uh, we go ahead and bevel this. Although I have it on the wrong side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, so yeah, I actually beveled it the wrong way. Uh, so we're gonna do this again. This time it comes out better and correct. And uh, now we're just going to bevel it in. And then we're going to extrude it straight up here. Uh, I think I extruded it four or five and then pull it down or something. I just want a little bit of a space in between. And then I went ahead and beveled it again, made it the same size, and then uh, extruded by 10, I'm pretty sure. And uh, now. We're going to go ahead and just create the inside here. As you can see, we're beveling again. Uh, I think we bevel in twice, and then we inset here, and then we extrude. So, inset it a lot, or kind of a lot, and then we're going to extrude downwards. And then we're going to, I think, inset again. <laughs> uh, I think I did a little too much. Yeah, I did a little too much there. And then now we're just going to bring it up, so we're going to extrude it, and then we're going to bevel it back in to itself. <laughs> There's a lot of just beveling and extruding here that uh, it's going to be done. <coughs> yeah. So there we go, we have all that done now. Now if you want to make the handle. Uh, like in this one, I'm going to do, I go ahead and make the handle here. You just select two areas and then you extrude them uh, about three times. Uh, that just gives you enough so that way you can move around whenever you need to in order to make the curve for it. And um, then you select the edges there and you rotate it down and rotate it up. And then you select, uh, reselect them and bridge it. Uh, that's just that way, that's what the bridge tool does, it's really effective. Go ahead and create that for you, and now uh, we select those four edges right there, then we connect them and just push them out. Make the handle a little bit more uh, noticeable, you know, so that way. Most handles I know of are round, not completely like flat or completely square or anything. Um, and then I always see it as too big, so I just went ahead and scaled it in there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and label that base. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and add a mesh smooth modifier to it. And we're going to put it on classic, not nerves. Uh, you can do nerves if you want, but I prefer classic. Um, just because I'm not really too worried about the polygon count or anything here, so. Here we go, and uh, I'm pretty sure I bring down the render, I, I bring up the render iterations, 
which are right over there to the right of the control panel, um, right underneath the regular iteration. Uh, as you can see, that's what I'm about to do right now, is bring, down, bring out the render iterations. Sorry, I'm not actually doing this, I already recorded this, so there's no sound to it, like I said before, so. Okay, I think I pulled it up to two, and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. As you can see, when I render it, it's already smooth. Up to that two. Alright, uh, now we're going to go ahead and create the candle here. And, uh, there should be about good, I'm pretty sure. And we're going to go ahead and scale this in just a tiny bit and flip it up. And then we're going to go ahead and convert it to an editable poly. Uh, now, the only reason that we really convert it to an editable poly is so that we can use the blend modifier. Uh, we'll actually convert, reconvert it back to an editable poly afterwards, but the bed modifier, um, uh, it's what we use in order to make the kind of curved shape as if it were kind of melted in the middle because of the heat of the flame. Uh, now some candles aren't like that. Uh, some candles are just straight up like that, and then all you'd have to do would be bubble it up at the top and then, uh, Level it down, make the wick for it. Alright, but this candle, we're doing it this way. Um, we're gonna add the bed modifier. Now, I can't see the actual uh, requirements or whatever I put inside there, so uh, don't ask me to uh, tell you those. Uh, maybe I'll post them in the description or just have a uh, annotation added to that. And now, I think I was going to. Uh, Use the uh, that modifier again, but I decided against it because I really didn't need it. There was no point for it because all I'd be doing would be bending it back to what it was at the beginning. Um, okay, so here we go. I think this is what I'm like. Okay, I just had a mesh smooth, and you see it kind of looks like a deformed hot dog. So uh, what we do from here is we go ahead and. Uh, Select the face selection icon or the little red square there. And, uh, okay, so, uh, now we're gonna do is we're gonna inset here. And, uh, this will help us, uh, and bevel it in, sorry, and then we're gonna inset. And this will, uh, make the wick for our candle. So we're gonna go ahead and extrude this up three times, uh, so that way we can get just kind of a little curve into it, kind of like a candle, uh, but we're not going to use a bed modifier. We're just going to uh, move it around the uh, move tool and uh, clicking vertices, which will be the easiest way to actually do it. Uh, so. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. That that way. Do the same thing up here. Do this a little bit that way. Alright, there we go. And now we're going to have a mesh moon, and that's how it should look. And now we're going to come to the bottom here. Uh, not this viewport. We're going to go to the top viewport, just going to be up there to the bottom viewport. And we're going to select the face of the candle. And we're going to inset that. And uh, now we'll go ahead and just keep it straight. And that's how it just come up. And uh, there we go. Basically, that's your candle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a material to this. We're going to add a white material and a black material, and that'll just be for the candle and stick here. Uh, so, there, and I'm going to select the uh, wick of the candle. And, uh, that will make, uh, or not, sorry. So what's going to happen is it's going to uh, change the color here, just so that way we have a white stick and a black uh, wick. So. And uh, there we go. Got an, oops, it's a gray material here, so I'm uh, going to edit that really quick uh, just by adding the white material again. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and fix that up. I'm not really going to worry too much about uh, 
materials or anything in the next tutorial. I'm just going to import it into my other scene to the point. So uh, yeah, go ahead and check that out if you want to see it. And I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Thank you for watching.